Hey YouTube, welcome to On My Financial Goals, where we go over Canadian personal finance for you millennials. I'm Raymond, and it's my turn to do a tutorial for you guys. And today, we'll go over how to purchase ETFs. In our previous video, we went over what an ETF is and why we like them. And we mentioned that you do need a brokerage to be able to purchase ETFs. Our brokerage of choice is Questrade because they offer virtually free purchasing of ETFs, which is normally a 9.95 fee for any other broker. I've been personally using Questrade for the past three to four years after making the switch from the TDE series, mutual funds, and I've been very happy with them so far. So today we'll be using the Questrade platform and I'll try and make it very easy for you guys to follow. So let's get started. Going over to the Canadian Cash Potato website and heading to the model portfolio section, they give a PDF that lays out their recommended ETFs to apply their different allocations. As MT has mentioned in his video, the recommended allocation is based on your age. Your bond allocation should be roughly your age and the rest in equities. Looking at the Canadian Cash Potato recommended portfolio, you will notice three funds, ZAG, VCN, and XAW. As we've mentioned before, we recommend Canadian bonds and equities, US equities, and international equities. So why is there only three? Well. XAW makes it very convenient and covers both the US and international equities. There are many ways to break down your allocation with different types of funds if you really want to squeeze out the lowest MER, but Canadian Cash Potato has found that these three offer the ease of application with the lowest cost possible. So now we'll head over to Questrade so we can go over how we can buy these three funds. Luckily for us, Questrade offers a virtual practice account while they will give you $500,000 in US and Canadian dollars to put into the market to practice trading in their platform. Of course, it's practice money, so nothing is yours. I used this before I signed up with them officially to see how easy it is. So let's sign up for a free account and let's get started. Okay, so now we're inside the Questrade platform. Here they offer really interesting information to help manage your account. I like how simple and intuitive their platform is. In the main screen, you'll, you'll see that you have a lot of information ahead of you. Um, since we just started this account, it shows that we have $500,000 in Canadian and $500,000 in US. You have lots of tools in the left side of the bar and the order entry on the right side of the screen. It's a lot of information, I know, but if we're just using this for the Canadian Cash Potato portfolio, you won't really need to know most of the tools. You just need to know how to buy and sell your ETFs, which is really simple. So as an example, I broke everything down into a quick spreadsheet. So here you can see ZAG, VCN, XAW, their allocations, how much I can contribute from that $500,000 investment, the price per unit, which you can grab from the Questrade platform. Um, as an example, you could see here, if you go to Questrade platform, type in zag.to, and you can see the ask price of 15.22. And then do the same thing for VCN and XAW. The units to buy is simply your contribution divided by your price per unit, and you'll see 812 units. As you can see, they're not whole units. And remember, when buying ETFs, you can only buy whole units. So what I like to do is I actually try and find whole units from all the remaining units. So in our case, we could probably make a whole unit for ZAG if we take the remainder from VCN and XAW to make it 8,213 units. But today, we'll keep it simple and keep it at that original calculation. And now, we're ready to start purchasing. Please note, before we move forward, these purchases must be done during normal market open hours. So in our case, since we're buying from the TSX, you should be buying them between 9.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. EST. With that said, in this video, you will notice that my order will be rejected because I purchased them during off hours. If you do purchase them during off hours, Questrade will just complete your purchase once the market opens again. Let's continue. So let's go to the Questrade platform. We'll type in zag.to, where TO indicates where you're buying it from. So in our case, TO is a TSX. Remember, they have an ask price of 
dollars and 22 cents so in our case we can purchase roughly 8212 units we'll change the order type to market and type in the units 8212 units and click on buy 8212 units confirm all your information and send your order and voila you purchased your first ETF good job so let's do it for the rest so VCN we could purchase 3900 units so do it again VCN.TO 3,900 units at market price, buy and send order. And one more time, XAW, we could purchase 9,754 units, so XAW.TO, 9,754 units at market price, buy and send order and that's it you've invested your original five hundred thousand dollar investment simple right just a note we pick market order here for simplicity this method quest trade does charge you an electronic communication networks fee ECN for short and this fee however is quite low the Canadian cash potato portfolio guys estimates below two dollars per five hundred dollar shares and is quite negligible compared to the standard $9.95 fee that all other brokerages offer. There are many ways to avoid the ECN fee and squeeze every single penny when buying ETFs. It is a bit more complicated, but if you're interested, I will link below on how you could do it. Canadian Couch Potato explains the pros and cons. And that about wraps up the video, and we hope that this video gives you the confidence to be able to purchase ETFs in the future. Please like and subscribe and comment below on what you think about our recent tutorial videos. It's the only way we'll know if we should keep making Canadian personal finance videos for you guys. Thank you and see you again soon.